CBS 3 Summerfest continues this Friday. We are broadcasting live from Ambler this evening, where the fifth annual Ambler Arts and Music Festival is taking place tonight along Main Street. Jessica Dean is live in Ambler, Montgomery County, where music and arts are taking over, but business is what put them on the map. Hey, Jess. Hi, Natasha. Great to see you. Happy Friday to everyone. We are rolling on with CBS 3 Summerfest, where we're visiting a different destination every Friday to show you how great it is in the Delaware Valley. Now, Ambler is certainly a place that was connected to the railroad, like so many of the Pennsylvania suburbs, and a stop here made it a very profitable destination and through its ups and downs over the years it's always remained a place where people want to live and today people say they wouldn't live anywhere else take a look follow the railroad tracks to ambler pennsylvania that goes back to mid 1800s and that was an influencing factor for why the Keesby and Madison asbestos factories were located here in Ambler. The train brought the business that put Ambler on the map in 1881. Well-known pharmaceutical firm Keesby and Madison decided to relocate its headquarters from Philadelphia. And when they arrived, they discovered the land was perfect for asbestos production. The town boomed until the factory folded. So I got drafted in the army in 1964 for Vietnam. I got out in 66. And when I came back, the town wasn't the same. Malls moved in during the 1970s and small business moved out. When I was little, the town had two grocery stores and a Woolworths and a furniture store and a clothing store and the movies. We had everything. And then slowly but surely, the mall took everything away and everything started to close down. But it wasn't the end for Ambler. When the Ambler Theater came back, they were able to get grant money for them, and they really were the anchor. They started it all. That money came from the Main Street program funded by the government and helped bring the factory town back to its feet. That program is the one that really turned the town around. They got the movie theater back. We had all kinds of restaurants now. You go downtown Ambler on a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and you think you're down the shore. I mean, it's booming. As businesses continue to find a home in Ambler, they're keeping tradition alive in the small town. Just ask Tyler Deck. We got paint, hardware, electrical, plumbing. His family-owned hardware store has been in business since 1908. Ambler is a very close-knit community. Kind of everybody knows everybody. The upside's been great lately. We're getting a lot of new younger people in, moving into this area. The real estate has gone through the roof. Um, a lot of new customers. So, As I look back, I think there can't be a better place in this country where a kid could grow up. 